Welcome. I am Professor Berliner. I am delighted to have each of you in the class. We are going to learn a lot together and we are going to enjoy the process of learning. Here we are, Unit 1, Lesson 1. This lesson is divided into two sections, Part A and Part B. Here we are on Part A. What are we going to learn on Part A? We are going to learn the difference between information and intelligence, why is intelligence needed, and what are the components of intelligence analysis. A tip, focus on the difference between information and intelligence and an analysis, because without analysis, information is not intelligence. After we do this, we move on to the key components of the U.S. intelligence community. When does information become intelligence? Information is simply the plethora of information openly available and accessible through legal means that is neither analyzed nor vetted for purposes of national security. Here, I want you to focus on three concepts openly available, legal means, and purposes of national security. What is intelligence? Intelligence is collected, analyzed, and vetted information needed by the President, the National Security Council, the Undersecretaries of Defense, State, and Homeland Security, and other designated officials and staff of agencies or branches of the U.S. government for the performance of their duties and responsibilities. Intelligence is classified unless it is designated as open source intelligence, commonly known as OSINT. Here we have a plethora of information, almost overwhelming analyst, an analyst and a decision maker vetting intelligence so that it becomes the actionable intelligence that he or she needs to make informed decisions. Why is intelligence needed? It is needed because governments need to hide and protect information from other governments. These governments, in turn, need to discover that hidden information. Why is the reason for that need? The reason is that governments are tasked with the protection and defense of the state's internal security and its interests abroad and those of its allies. What lies at the core of intelligence? The core of intelligence is analysis of a given issue towards a common security objective. What is analysis? Analysis is a cognitive process that produces judgments, forecasts, and insights. Without this product, analysis is not analysis. What are the components of analysis? Judgment is a conclusion based on incomplete information bounded by uncertainty. Therefore, it may or may not be probable. Here, I want you to focus on incomplete information because no matter how deep and how, how thorough your collection of information might have been or is, is never complete. There is always a piece of information missing. Forecast, judgments, not predictions about future events. They lack uncertainty. And insight is judgments placed within their context. Analysis of how a given situation is evolving produces the insights. This graphic shows you that requirements, judgments, forecasts, and insights are all interrelated. We now move to the key components of the U.S. intelligence community. We focus first on the Director of National Intelligence, the DNI is appointed by the president, heads the U.S. intelligence community as a whole, oversees and directs implementation of the National Intelligence Program, the NEP, 
and is a principal advisor to the president, along with the National Security Council and the Homeland Security Council. Here is an organizational chart of the Office of the DNI. We now move on to the Department of Defense with a special focus on the Undersecretary of Defense for Intelligence. Coordinates the DOD's intelligence, cooperates with the DNI, but does not supersede the DNI. It is critical that we keep in mind that the Undersecretary of Defense for Intelligence reports to the DNI does not supersede the DNI. The Undersecretary of Defense for Intelligence also provides oversight, oversight and policy guidance to the DOD, coordinates with the Defense Intelligence Agency, the DIA. The DIA provides military intelligence to war fighters, defense policy makers, and to force planners in the DOD and the intelligence community. The DIA also plans manages and executes intelligence operations during peacetime, during crisis and war through human intelligence or human and open source intelligence. The Undersecretary of Defense for Intelligence also coordinates with the National Security Agency and the Central Security Services. Protects the U.S. national security system produces cryptology composed of signals intelligence, SIGINT, and information assurance, or IA. It also enables the computer network operations, coordinates, coordinates with the National Reconnaissance Office, the NRO, and designs and builds and operates overhead intelligence systems. These are the reconnaissance satellites for national security. Also, the Undersecretary of Defense coordinates with the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, the NGA, which provides imagery, map-based intelligence, and geospatial information to military, policymakers, and civilian users. Here is the diagram of the um, organization of the Secretary of Defense. The Department of State contributes to the National Intelligence Estimate, the NIE, and provides research for all policy issues. Within the State Department, there is the Bureau of Intelligence and Research, which offers interpretative analysis of intelligence to support U.S. diplomacy. Here is the organizational chart of the Department of State. The Department of Homeland Security, the DHS, prevents terrorism and enhances security, secures and manages the U.S. borders, enforces and administers immigration laws, safeguards and secures cyberspace, and produces the Quadrennial Homeland Security Review. It shares responsibility with the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, in law enforcement and intelligence collection and analysis, and focuses on the threats related to border security and travelers entering the United States. Here is the organization of the Department of Homeland Security. The Central Intelligence Agency reports to the Director of National Intelligence. This is critical because prior to the creation of the DNI, the Central Intelligence Agency and the Director of the Central Intelligence Agency were the principal leaders in the U.S. intelligence community and reported directly to the President. Today, they report to the Director of National Intelligence. The CIA provides overall direction for and coordination of collection and analysis of foreign intelligence through human. It coordinates with departments, agencies, and branches of the U.S. government authorized to collect foreign intelligence. 
Here is the organizational chart of the CIA. The Federal Bureau of Investigation. It leads and coordinates intelligence efforts with the intelligence community and law enforcement partners to protect the United States. It does this often in coordination with allies of the U.S. The FBI is responsible for understanding threats to national security, penetrating national and transnational criminal networks, focusing on terrorist groups, foreign intelligence services, and proliferators of weapons of mass destruction. Here is the organization of the FBI. Here you have a diagram that summarizes all the components of the intelligence community. This was placed here to help you in your studies, particularly as you move along. What did we cover in part A? We focus especially on the difference between intelligence and information, when information becomes intelligence, analysis at the core of intelligence, the need for intelligence, and the key components of the U.S. intelligence community. We are now going to move on to part B. Thank you for attending the class. It was a delight to have you with us. And in part B, we are going to cover the U.S. intelligence cycle. Thank you very much, and good luck in your studies.